Hello again, my amazing artists. Welcome to our fourth week of virtual art class together. This week, we're gonna be doing something just a little bit different for my friends. This week, we're gonna be having what I call a ketchup week. Now, do I mean ketchup as in the thing that you might put on your burger or have with your fries? Hmm. Not quite, my friends. This kind of ketchup means that I'm going to get caught up with all of my artwork and art learning assignments from our first three weeks of art class together. Now, why might Miss Greta decide to have a catch-up week? I know some of my friends who maybe were on Mondays, haven't quite gotten through all of their art projects because we had two Mondays off, and I know a couple other friends and families might be feeling a little bit overwhelmed right now by everything that they do have to be doing. So. In the spirit of wanting to work together to get all of our friends caught up, that is why I'm having a catch-up week this week. In a moment here, I'm gonna show you, one, what you need to be caught up on, my friends. There's two projects for every grade level that need to be finished and turned in on Seesaw or Artsonia as your catch-up assignments. Then, I'm also gonna tell you about another choice that you can do, my friends. If you are completely all cut up with all of your art learning, then you can have a little bit of a choice about what you do this week. With that being said, let's go ahead and look at what we must have done in order to catch up this week. So, for my kindergarten friends, the two art assignments that you have to have done in order to be all caught up this week is first your sketchbook, and that's from our week one learning, and your Romero Brito inspired letter. We started that on week two, and last week, week three, we finished it up. These are the two things that I should see on your Seesaw or on Artsonia, again, that's always an option, in order for you to be caught up this week. Now, in order to make this a little easier on you, friends, right here on this Seesaw assignment, I have added onto the description the different videos from each of our three weeks. And it will say week one, how to make your sketchbook, week two, how to start your Romero Brito inspired letter, and week three, how to finish your letter. So that way, all the links are right there, ready for you, friends, to click on and get all caught up on your work. Now again, my friends, those are the two things that I need to see from you artists in order to know that you have everything caught up. Again, though, I told you that there is something that you could do if you are all caught up this week. For example, I wanna give a great big shout out to all of my wonderful first grade friends in Mrs. Geisbuehler's class. They have been doing a phenomenal job and I know that all of those friends in that class have everything turned in already from their first two weeks of learning. Great job, Miss Geisbuehler's friends. So, if you happen to be one of those friends that is all caught up and you saw those two assignments that I held up and you said, yes, I am done and I have turned those in to either Seesaw or Artsonia, then here's what you can do. You can make a free choice project this week. For all my friends that are caught up, if you would like to make something of your own, this is the week to do it, my friends. And I really love getting to see what you friends make because I know you're so creative. So. If you would like to do that free choice project, again, you have to be all caught up in order to do the free choice project. You can use whatever you have at home. But I'm gonna pause there a moment because I don't want you friends to use anything out of your art folders for this. I have my three art folders here for kindergarten, first grade, and second grade multi-age. If you are gonna be making a free choice project, my friends, please do not use any of the materials that are in your folder. Instead, find things around your house, such as toilet paper tubes or maybe chalk. Maybe you even have some Legos that you can build something creative out of. And use those items, please, for your free choice project. For friends that do decide to make a free choice project, down in the template below, it's gonna ask that you take a picture of your project. And then there's also a couple questions that I'm asking you friends to tell me about that free choice project. Now, 
If you don't want to make a free choice project, but you are all caught up, or if you are one of my friends that is working on catching up this week, you can also turn in this free choice template empty. Our free choice project is not an assignment that I am going to grade. It is just another option for any of my friends that are all caught up and would like to have some more fun art this week. So with that being said, my artists, I cannot wait to see all of the artwork that you friends are going to catch up on this week in Seesaw or Art Sony again. And for those artists that are all caught up, I can't wait to see what creative free choice project you decide to make. For now, my friends, I'm going to go ahead and say goodbye and have fun creating. <laughs>